Hello, my name is Martin Skelton. In this tutorial, we're going to look at 3D sketching and the Wellmans feature. What I'm going to present is a very basic 3D sketch using Wellmans also. I'm using SOLIDWORKS 2022 and we're not starting on any plane this time. We're going to Wellmans and we're going to what's called a 3D sketch. 3D sketch is a very hard thing to visualize sometimes. So if you go to your top plane, right click and click C or the eyeball and it will show where that plane is. Then we click on our 3D sketch. We're using our line, and we're just drawing a general shape. So we start off from the origin, which is the center here, draw a line. So as that line comes out, you can see the yellow box. It's a dotted yellow box that comes around the line. So this tells us what plane that line is sitting in our 3D sketch. If we marry up the line with the edge of the box, you can now see a little yellow X comes beside our cursor and our XY is on our pencil for drawing the line. So this tells us it's on our XY plane. If we click, we now can travel any direction we want as well, but you can see the box is back. It's telling us that it's going to draw on the XY plane that's beside the cursor. If we click our tab key, now we're changing our different planes. So now we're on the YZ plane. And we just drop a line on the YZ plane. Draw again. So I'm only clicking and moving my cursor again. And we're going to go vertical on the XY plane. Click. And then when we draw back, you can see our box again. We're still on the XY plane. And we click again. We're just making an outline shape and we can add measurements in the next stage. So now if I click tab again, you can see I'm on the ZX plane. Travel along, wait till it lines up with the line and the yellow box will appear. Click, travel down. Now I'm still on the ZX plane. If I press the tab key, I'm now on the XY plane. And click, and then press escape. Pick up your line again, don't exit the sketch. Start on the start point and drop line again on the X, Y. Click. Now, it can take a few attempts to try and get that correct. It is a hard thing to uh, visualize. But if you turn your sketch, we you see that your sketch is in 3D. The lines are a little bit all over the place. We have a line that comes down vertical, travels along that plane, travels up that plane, goes vertically up, travels along horizontal, travels along this plane horizontal, and then travels back down. That's what we're trying to draw. You'll see when we start adding the wellments, it's much easier to visualize. If we start on this line here, and we say it's 50 millimeters long, and then we click this line, so I'm just using um, Smart Dimension, and we'll make it 250 millimeters. Now, when the line is black, it is fully defined. The worst thing that you can do with 3D sketches is not to define the sketch. We'll take this back line and we'll put it down as 200 millimeters. You can see that makes the next line turn black, which means the next line is fully defined. So we travel up 200 millimeters. And now we have our general outline shape, so we can Click off our smart dimension and we'll start using relations for the next few lines. If we go to our 200 millimeter line, hold the shift button, click it, and also click this line, and we click equals, we now have those two lines the same. And once again, they turn black. If we click this line, hold the shift button, click this line, click equals, those two lines are now the same. We take our 50 millimeter line, this line, and we click equals, and now those two lines are the same. So 3D sketching is very, very good for weldments. Easy to use when you visually see what is happening, and you can draw things in 3D sketches that you would be next to impossible to draw in 2D. We would hide our plane, go back up to our top plane, click hide plane. That is now our 3D sketch. Try and represent it, we go isometric, and we can see what that sketch shows. Very hard to see when there's no profile on the sketch. Close our sketch. We're going to Structural Member. Click. On a previous tutorial, I installed all the Structural Member profiles. I'll leave a link in the description. Circular Tube. We'll take the 26.9 by 3.2 mil. New Group. Click. You can see our pipes start to come in. Click. 
and work it the whole way around. Click every line, click the last line, and click go. Just change your material. Now we can see the shape that we're trying to create. And our joints are at 45 degrees, so they're all mitered points. If we want to take the miter off, go back to our 3D sketch, edit sketch, and we will put in sketch fillets. There will be predetermined radiuses for whatever pipe you're using. And uh, if you're using cast bends or you're making your own bends. But just for this example, I'll say each bend has a radius of 30 millimeters. Now chop in the bends. And you get this as segment is being filleted. We can keep going. And you probably get that on all messages. Now, as you can see, we're just taking off all sharp ends. And then the final one, click OK, click OK. And then we click exit sketch. All our pipe has disappeared. So we have to go back. And as you can see, we're on group one. And we reselect the points again. Let the pipe travel through. There is our product once again. If you're using cast corners for something like handrails or something, you can easily put in the cast corner or your pipe benders and you put in your pipe bender information and you would make up the weldment as required. So on our cutting list, we can see we have those two pieces, the front two pieces of pipe, and then all along the different sizes of pipe. And then of course the bend radiuses. In another tutorial, we'll do the cut list when we're doing the SOLIDWORKS drawings and you can see where this information comes from. Then just finally, we put in two end caps, finish off the pipe, either side, we can hide our sketch, isometric, and there is our profile. The 3D sketching is a command that you would play with to learn how to use it. It's a method of thinking and visually knowing where your line needs to sit rather than something that you've learned. In other tutorials, we'll be doing different weldment projects where we can practice 3D sketching and adding weldments. To. This has been Martin Skelton. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you get value from this video. Till the next time.